It's maybe the most hotly debated topic in the archery industry. Arrow speed versus arrow weight is a really high FOC, super heavy arrow that flies slower, better for penetration or, or for arrow flight or for lethality in general than something that's super fast and light, or does the super fast and light arrow that hits its mark earlier than the heavy arrow, is that more lethal? We're gonna dive into it today. So there's definitely two extremes that we see a lot in the archery industry. There are the guys who like super light arrows that you can get 310, 320 feet per second out of. That's super fast and there's a benefit to that. When you're hunting and your arrow is flying that fast, it just gets to the animal that much quicker, um, which gives the animal less time to jump the string and it does make a difference. A matter of 10, 15 feet per second does make a difference uh, when we're talking about things like string jumping. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, string jumping is when you shoot your bow and from the time it takes from your arrow to get from your bow to the animal, um, the animal has a moment to react and jump and they have just such incredible instincts that they do it all the time um, and if you ever look at any slow-mo um, whitetail bow hunting footage you'll see it in a lot of shots a little bit of a string jump so having a really light fast arrow does help you in in that sense now the other end of the extreme is really heavy arrows i'm talking you know 20 plus percent foc 600 650 grain arrows uh, a lot of people like this. This is a big trend in the archery industry these days. Now, why is that? Because we do know that heavier arrows penetrate better. When they hit something, it's harder for them to slow down and they do penetrate remarkably well. Um, the fast light arrows get to the target much quicker and when they make impact with the animal, they're flying faster, but because of how light they are, they slow down so much faster. Think about when you were playing football or hockey as a kid and a great big guy comes up and tries to hit you or you try to hit a big guy, um, it's much harder to hit that big guy than it is a guy who weighs you know, 120 or 130 pounds. Same thing if, he, if he's coming to hit you. If a guy who weighs 250 pounds is coming to hit me on the ice, uh, it's going to hurt a lot more and send me a lot further than if a guy, you know, 120 pounds is doing it. And it's the exact same thing um, with arrows. That little guy can skate at me faster, but once he hits me, it doesn't do as much. I think that the extreme FOC and a super heavy arrow thing has a detriment in that your arrows are too slow. Um, I think string jumping is something we need to take into consideration as bow hunters. Um, and when you're shooting an arrow that's you know, only flying 240, 50 feet per second, um, these animals will jump the string. I shoot faster than that. Last uh, two seasons ago, I was shooting a 273 foot per second bow and I had a white tailed doe completely duck my arrow at 26 yards. So it does make a difference. Now, what am I proposing is the solution? Well, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I'm right about everything. And um, this is just my opinion. This is what works for me. So before you guys start blasting me in the comments, this is my opinion that I would like to share with you. Now, what I consider to be my golden rule of arrow building um, in all the setups that I've done over the years is I want to shoot the heaviest arrow I can while maintaining my arrow speed at about 280 feet per second. We know that arrows fly optimally in that 270 to 280, 285 feet per second range. And I'm sure there's gonna be some of you out there saying no arrows fly best as fast as you can get them, whatever. Um, that's just not true. Every projectile has an optimal speed at which it was designed to fly. And that you see this a lot if any of you reload your own bullets. You, you'll, you'll get to a point where you are, um, you're shooting a good group and you're trying to make it tighter so you add a few more grains of powder to that cartridge. All of a sudden your groups start expanding. You're trying to make that bullet fly faster than it wants to and the flight characteristics, the ballistics of it, suffer. So it's exact same with arrows. It's the same as if you're throwing darts. If you throw a dart at a dartboard as fast as you can, it's not gonna fly as nice as if you do a, a proper lob, like a professional dart player would. Same thing with arrows, and we know that that 270 to 285 feet per second range is just where arrows tend to fly best. So that takes care of the speed thing. I want good arrow flight that's pretty fast. It's not crazy, but it's reasonably fast, and it also takes care of the weight thing. When I, I shoot a 70 pound bow at 30 and a half inches, when I, I'll build an arrow and I'll shoot it 
through a chronograph and I'll see how fast it is. If it's 300 feet per second, okay, I know that I need to add some weight to my arrow to bring that speed down. And this has a benefit. You're bringing your speed down to that optimal range. And this means a lot at long range. When you're shooting 80, 90 yards, having proper arrow flight means so much at those long ranges. And then I'm also adding weight to my arrow to help with that momentum and help with that penetrating power once it gets to its target. So. With my personal setup, 70 pounds, 30 and a half inch draw length, I typically will shoot about a 540 to 560 grain arrow. Um, it, it depends on my setup for the year, um, but generally when I, when I get into that, I like to shoot right about 280 feet per second. I end up shooting about a 550 grain arrow. Um, and that's always worked so good for me. I get a lot of pass throughs. I, I do see some string jumping, but I think you're gonna see that. Um, like when you're hunting a skittish whitetail, you're gonna see that um, no matter what at some point in your hunting career. So that is my thoughts on the speed versus the arrow weight debate. I think that there's a perfect middle ground. And I think that that golden rule I talked about is that perfect middle ground. It's worked so good for me. I have such good success with uh, shooting fixed blade broadheads at long range because I believe my, my arrow speed is in that optimal range. And I also have great penetration. And I've, I've killed a lot of animals at, at some decently long distances um, using this method. So this is my opinion. I hope I gave you guys something to think about, maybe something to look at this spring um, going into the hunting season. Thank you for watching.